I don't like making fun of deaths, but, you know, we got two tragedies now, man. After the shooting out there in Lansing, we got another tragedy. Another NBA player with an Instagram porn star type model shit. I just did a video, no one really watched it, on Blake Griffin impregnating a big porn star. And now we add on to this and we wonder why we're in the state of where we're the state that we're in is Mr. Brent Forbes. Brent Forbes allegedly, <laughs> oh my shit, arrested for, by the way, your career is over, okay? For domestic violence, okay? Okay, so this looks like a little bit of anger on Brent Forbes' part. It looks, it looks a little bit uh, depressed. This is an NBA player, folks. An NBA player. Okay, all right. Obstructing a woman multiple times, emergency medical teams were called to the scene to assist the woman. The woman was allegedly struck several times by by causing injury and pain. Okay, this is Brent Forbes. Okay, the EMS responded, provided medical attention to the woman. They added, "Let me let me tell you something. Can you can you just see what I just said here? Let me rewind it for you." Brent Forbes, who who is currently a free agent, was arrested in Texas this week. After an altercation with a woman in San Antonio, I didn't read that part, but I want to tell you, Forbes signed with the Timberwolves in July, but was waived last week to clear a roster spot. Was waived last week to kill, to cl to clear a roster spot. Now I'm not going to say that the porn star had anything to do with his wave being waived, but. I'll tell you what, the company you keep is the company you keep. And the company may say, man, that's the company he keeps. <laughs> and I'm paying him all this money and he keeps that kind of company. I mean, your decision is your decision, but I still don't get the mantra with these guys. I guess I guess freak a leak, freak, freak, freak a leak. It comes into mind. These guys want the most wild of wild. I mean, that's allegedly where we're at. Here goes some more of that story. Bryn, Bryn Forbes arrested for assaulting his ex-porn star girlfriend, Elsa John, one week after the girl was asked by the Timberwolves. Now, can you imagine what the argument could have been? I mean, let's let's be honest. <laughs> She's a social media head. Look at her, right? You you can look at her and see this is a you know typical blondie. Okay, are you famous? Who do you know? That type of girl. That's easy to see. That's easy to see. All right. All right, he plays in the NBA. Would she be with him if he was not in the NBA? I don't know. I don't go by the looks things, right? I can't tell you she looks better than he looks and all that stuff, right? That would be an opinion. But more than likely, girls like that, you know, they usually go for the cowboy bill or, you know, uh, you know, uh, surfer. You know, you know what I'm talking about, man. You know, he's a rock star. You know, there's a couple blondies in there. Randall has one from the NBA, but that not this type, right? This looks like a different type. This looks like straight fornia. Now, I'm not saying you can't get in the skins. No one said that. I just said for a long-term relationship, usually, usually doesn't really work in that way with those two different races. And, Brent, I know I know you're mixed. I can tell. But uh, you still got the blackism in you, brother. I'm sorry. You can't. Mixed kids, you can't get away from it. You still, you're still, you know... Favor the black, maybe you can go Spanish, right? Maybe you can go Spanish, and if you want to consider yourself a white Spanish, I'm, I'm fine. I, I don't argue that point with these folks, right? Anyway, Brent Forbes just got released. Looks like it's an anger assault. Looks like something happened in the house. 5 a.m. in the morning, he was taken to the back, Baxter County Jail where Bear had not been initially set, all right? Emotional damage again, okay? Forbes had an argument with Jean before striking her several times after the couple arrived from... L.A. Contra Resort and Spa, according to the report. This is at 5 fucking a.m. Are you serious? Oh, he's arrested at 5 a.m. Okay, I'm not sure when the altercation took place. Okay. Was arrested. How old is Ella John? She's 26. Man, man, she looks like a straight, exactly what I was talking about. Let's look at look her background. Is that Louis Vuitton and all that shit? Red bottoms and all that? Yeah, this is, this is typified. Okay. Uh, has left the NBA player. This, is, yeah, of course she left him. You see how magic that shit is, man. You see how Lord. No offense. Now this is this is a crime. He hit her, but do you see how fast that goes, brother? <laughs> that certain groups of women. Okay, it's not racial. There's a class of women that you just honestly, in my opinion, they're not long termers at all. They're called the, the famous, the famous Amos crowd. All right. They want you because you're famous. 
you're in the NBA and she can introduce you as that. This girl, you can just look at her and see Barbie. What do you do? How famous are you? Okay. Her her restriction and why she's dealing with Brent Forbes is she did porn. She did porn. So now that she did porn, I hate to say it, don't make fun of me. Let's go ahead and get with the lower tier race. All right. That's just what happens. All right. I'm not going to lie to you. That's what happens. Let me get with another race because they'll accept me. They're lower than me, so maybe they'll take me. So she goes the next level down because she could have gotten an exec who's rich and all that shit. She can still get one of these pastors and all that, the redeemer, a rich pastor. But, you know, she says, I'm going to move on. Let me go to my next step. And she takes on Brent Forbes. Okay? And she gets the clout from the media. This is my opinion what happened. He got laid off last week. Uh, you can't keep a job in the NBA. You know these girls, man. Come on. Guys have dealt with them. You know how they talk. <laughs> you know how they talk, man. Look at her. Look at her, man. Shallow. Now, it's not right for me to judge her without hearing her talk. And usually these girls can switch it up, too. They can come off. Me saying that, she'll come off in the interview like she's super intelligent. Like she has all the beans in the head. Sir, I don't give a shit. You can just look by this, by this attention-seeking uh, photo what she's about. That's how I got you. It's not about you talking and you being able to articulate yourself. And you're going to say, I got four degrees and all that. This picture shows me who you are. All right? Let me keep going. Forbes, 29 years old. He is a single father has, uh, of two. Okay, he plays seven seasons, so he has some money. All right, he's older, though. Um, to you know, clear a spot for Mike Conley Jr. and Nick Alexander Walker. Already without a teenage star, is now without a girlfriend. His genes leaving him and his devastated father is a source close to the adult firm. Uh, Susie confirmed. Okay, the former uh, item were set up by Kylie Jenner's uh ex best friend jordan wood so here here goes the company look at this dumb motherfucker this this is this is it man this is the problem this is the problem you see what i'm saying so Bryn Forbes is with the Minnesota Timberwolves. He gets cut. He thinks he's down with Anthony Towns. Anthony Towns' black sister girlfriend Jordan Wood, who slept with Tristan Thompson while she was with while Chloe, Chloe, uh, Chloe Kardashian. You know Chloe Kardashian get busy with you know Chloe Kardashian and Kimmy, right? Look at the look at look at the friends you keep, man. That should tell you a circle. You see how far away that circle is? So she took, she took, she was messing with Tristan, banged him while they were together. I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Carl Anthony Towns, man, he's from Jersey, but he really, you know, he's from Dominican Republic, right? He lived there most of his life. He go ahead and, and he lost his mother. He had a lot of losses, but, you know, you know, I hate to say, you know, he's from Jersey, but he's from, from South Jersey a little bit, you know what I mean? So he, 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 he had another girlfriend, I believe, that, you know, did some things, I believe, with Jimmy Butler, got busy. He gets with this porn star here and, and Jordan Woods. Jordan Woods then hooks hooks his boy here, Bryn Forbes, his teammate, with an ex-porn star. What does that say about her circle? Carl Anthony Towns has a contract for plus a hundred and something million dollars. And that's a, that's a big, that's that's a known leftover. There's a leftover and there's a, there's a leftover. There's different types of leftovers. There's leftovers that are unseen, a small town girl. I'll take that. No one knows. Yeah, it is about image. Yes, it is. It is 100% about image. I'll take that. Okay. You got you got some girls that are you know mid tier maybe a, maybe the college uh, college you know leftover and I don't want to say leftover now what I'm trying to say is they 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 have a past where they have a they've 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 shown themselves to let people uh, option them which means a lot of people have had a taste of the coffee therefore if there's fifty sips in that fucking coffee that they made for you at Starbucks do you still want the coffee? Talk to me. If you got 50 sips from Starbucks in that coffee, do you still want the coffee? 50 sips. Huh? So, back to uh, Mr. Carl Anthony Towns and this chick. 
A lot of sips in that coffee. He he get, he went ahead and said, I got a hundred something million. No one, none of the other guys have a hundred something million, but I'll go ahead and wipe this. He took that. Then he brought his boy in in that circle with that girl. I'm again, I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna appease his actions because he acted emotionally. That's the biggest problem here. Why can't us dudes, especially as aggressive and, and, and well thought of we are in the media, not hold ourselves to a different level, different level of accountability. Yes, that means being a bitch sometimes. I'll just say it. Yes, that means being a bitch. Okay. Yes, that means nodding your head and acting a little bit soft. Yes, that means that. Yes. Unless you're getting robbed, when you got that much money, sometimes it's okay to be soft, especially with the chicks, especially if you're angry. It's okay, Nick. No one's going to judge you. They're not putting money on your plate. I don't go. I don't want to hear it, and I've done it. I don't want him miss me with that bullshit. I ain't taking it. You know what? Well, well, time out, time out. Let's 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 rewind now. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out, time out. So, so this girl that you're trying to get respect from is a formal porn star that's been juggling more basketballs in a month than you have in your seven year career. Is that the respect you want? And from, is that who you want to from Prim Force? Is that who you want to respect you? A porn star, no offense. No, no, again, I don't mind women getting money. I don't have a problem with it, okay? I'm not, I'm not one of these guys that's going to say she's nasty. Da, da, da. All I'm saying of, of his caliber, I am making a judgment statement based upon his salary and what the man could actually get, okay? And he's going to say, well, what if he likes her? What if he likes her? Yeah, he can like a lot of chicks. He can lie a lot of chicks. It was his circle that brought him down is where I'm trying to go. His circle brought him to this place. Carl Anthony Towns, as the leader of that team, should exemplify where you should be with a wife and all that good shit. Right now, he got an Instagram model. All right? That's that's what he has. All right? She got something good. She's a good-looking... Jordan Woods is a good-looking, thicker woman. Actually, that's that's probably my favorite type of body. Um, with Jordan Woods, okay. I love that body. It's perfect. Looks look look good look, look, looking black woman. She got busy a little bit though. She's she's a little freaky freaky. You know what I mean? Because she took a girl's man that she was allegedly, you know, kinda in a big relationship with, married. That's a no no. Can't do that in the public eye. All right. And then her friends, right? Being a black girl, she has Kardashian one, two, three, Kylie, all those girls they in trouble. Look at their association. The porn star is not too far away from them. That's where I'm trying to go here. I'm going to land a plane with that. Her association, her next association after the Kardashians is the fucking porn star. All right. And a porn star who's had multiple characters in her. And yes, your prize is sometimes what you withhold. Okay. What everyone has access to is not no longer a prize. That's all I'm making a statement about. I'm not saying her career is wrong. I'm not saying she's right. All I'm saying is if, if people have multiple accessories to, to your prize jewel and everyone has touched it, is it, is it still a prize jewel? So why would a man who's in the top 5%, maybe 3%, is from an income status? And I understand what you're going to say. I can read you girls easily. It's her decision. It's his opinion. Blah, blah, blah. Why would a man with a 3% of the fucking world and salary go out and deal with a used good who's only using him to get, look at her face, let's go back up, look, look at her, to get publicity. Young men, athletes are not our role models. I'm going to leave it at that, land the plane, your boy, yes sir. We talking media. Mikey, I'm gone, man. This shit's crazy. I can't take it no more. His career is now over. Over get, trying to get respect from a girl, no offense, with her background, with the accessibility to multiple characters, doesn't necessarily need to be respected by him. As a human, yes. As far as slapping her in the face, yes. Need to respect that. But as far as I need to prove to her that I'm better than or she can't talk to me in that way. Son, son, sometimes you got to let shit go. I wouldn't care what she thought about me. And that's the ultimate smack in the face. I wouldn't care. If I had your money, I wouldn't care what this the chick thought about me. I'm going to land the plane and be gone. Peace.